Okay, so here's today's drama. So we had solar installed and um, the guy who installed the solar drilled a hole through the water tank, uh, a line. Fucking A man, that's a bad for a water leak. So water was shooting everywhere and so then we had to hire a, a repair guy to come out and he charged us $500 to repair that because Oh my gosh, they had to pull down, er, pull everything out uh, underneath the rig here and um, cut a hole in the panel, like basically cut a hole in the wall and oh my, it took forever. Anyway, so that's done. So I come back, basically the next day we have the, the guy here to clean the carpets because this is a fixer upper if I didn't mention that. So we have the guy here to clean the carpets and I'm going to vacuum, right? Because it's, it's, um, dirty like we finally got the, the leather furniture out and it's so 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 freaking dirty so I'm trying to vacuum and guess what none of the outlets work none of the the 110 outlets work now we didn't test it before the guy left with the solar now we don't know if, if he's the one who didn't hook it up right or if when the repair guy came and he had to take everything out including the controller because that's what the, you know the hole was drilled through so now we're here with the the carpet cleaner guy and no power and we need to move in here in a few days and we still have to fix a shower and i can't we can't live here if we don't have power because i you know I, I work um on the computer all day so and you know for other reasons so i'll show you how gross the carpet is and uh, this is this is part of um, the whole journey, I guess. Don't know what I was thinking. It's Aaron's fault. This is Jim, our neighbor. Jim is cleaning our carpets. That's what he does. Hello. Say hi, Jim. Hello. And Jim also fixes electrical problems, apparently, because now we've got power. Well, I had I took electric shop. It doesn't mean I fixed electrical problems. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he fixes everything. Look, we got power. Jim knows everything. It's good to have neighbors like this, let me tell you. But look, this is our next project. Yeah, there'll be no shower taking yet. Oh boy. Ah. Oh my gosh, now there's some stains and there's some burns. This is an old trailer and it was an actor's, you know, it was on the movie set, so God only knows what happened in this place. Fantastic, now we can move in. Woohoo! So yesterday was move-in day. Let's see if I can see. Ugh. We got a lot of stuff in here and a lot more stuff that's not here yet. Let's see, we're gonna go up here. Bed. We don't know if we have hot water yet. We still don't know. We don't have any water delivered. That sound is the wind coming through. It's super windy here. So we got a bed topper just arrived. I'm gonna try to put a bed topper on here. I locked myself out of the bathroom. <laughs> uh, that was fun when we were here before. 
So we got the bathroom open, which is good. And now we just have to figure out where are we going to put all of our stuff? I'm sure there's room somewhere. Oh, I've never had one of these before. I hope I got the right size. We decided to stay with the mattress that came with the, um, with the rig. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but it seems really clean. I vacuumed it. I think it'll be all right. Okay, I hope it gets bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. We don't have much going on in the bedroom yet and we're not done, but we finally got some furniture in here. Little Spanish table, we got a red sofa. There's my workstation area. There's Aaron's workstation area. And there's our photos. Kitchen is a disaster! That's it. We're working on it. It's day two of the move and I'm wearing the same clothes I was wearing before yesterday. And I'm so tired and uh, wow, you won't believe how much stuff we have left. I don't believe how much stuff we have left. This is just one room. And then I'm trying to find breakfast. And well, that's where the fridge used to be. Now it's just trash cans. So we have to find, find something to eat that's not out of the refrigerator, but I'm going to show you some of the, okay, got stuff everywhere. I'm going to turn this camera around so you can see just how much stuff is still left and going into a little RV trailer, well, a big RV trailer, but little compared to this big ass house. So check out how much stuff we still have left. So, I don't know where it's all gonna go. What did, I'm like, I don't have anything to eat. I don't know what to eat because we don't have a fridge. And what did Aaron McNair say? There's oatmeal. He said, do we have any oatmeal? Nah. I'm like, oh yeah, we have oatmeal. We're gonna eat some oatmeal. Duh. <laughs> I don't know. Can of beans for breakfast can't be all that bad either. I prefer oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is day two of moving, which means we're not done. And uh, there's not too much more left, but there's, <laughs> there's still work to be done. <laughs> so we're sitting here having lunch right now on the floor. Picnic, chili, Trader Joe's canned chili picnic, because we don't have our, our refrigerator. Yeah. We're improvising. We still have a lot to do, but... Um... We're hoping to get it all done by tonight because we had to rent a U-Haul, another U-Haul. Yeah. We forgot to take all of our patio furniture when we were moving last time with the big U-Haul. We totally forgot, you know, you know how it is when you're moving. And we forgot a corner cabinet here, but someone's going to buy that. Thank Yay. God. Yay. So anyway, after a picnic, then back to work and we'll see if we can get it all done today. We yeah. got we to we, get it done. We have to get it done. We have to finish today. We'll do it. We have to. <laughs> okay, we're halfway through. Huh? Oh, okay, hold on. We're halfway through day two. Moving into the RV. Okay, this stuff's supposed to go to the RV. Yeah, right. So some of that. Another run to Goodwill, or Salvation Army, actually. That's all going to storage. Okay, we already filled up storage. And then I got my computer, too. Hi. <laughs> Aaron says we're living in hell. Trash, recycle, trash, trash, recycle. I don't know what that stuff is. More trash that goes to the RV. I don't know what any of this is. Food. That was emergency supply food. No place for that. Look, 
working on this all day. And now I can't find the tape. We have two things to tape. And they're both gone. And the marker to mark stuff with is gone. This is obscene amount of hangers and clothes. Who, who has that much clothes? Americans are out of control, man. We got rid of a lot of it's being donated. So this stuff was all put away somewhere. Look at these hangers. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. It's day five. Day five of the move. And we said the other day, oh, we have to be out by today. We were supposed to be out. We started moving on Friday and we were supposed to be done completely by Sunday night. And now it's Tuesday morning. And now we got moved in. It's a total disaster here. Total disaster. <laughs> Almost everything's here. Now look at that. Where's all this stuff gonna go? I don't know. Um, but I think we figured out the hot water and um, I was able to turn on the propane, but I was afraid I was gonna burn the place down. I just heated up uh, water fast enough to um, make a cup of tea, but now the tea tastes like it came out of the hose. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be drinking this stuff, to be quite honest with you. Um, haven't tried the shower yet, but uh, yeah, I still have more stuff to move. I still have more stuff for storage, more stuff for Salvation Army, and even more stuff to bring here. And then I have to clean the old house. And so the one great thing about this is we never... I mean, knock on wood, we never have to do this again. You know, that's the point of getting into a tiny home on wheels or an RV. Next time we move, we just hook the truck up and away we go. But until then, uh, we got to get this under control. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where's everything going to go? <laughs> but it's all part of the adventure. So far, so good. Last night was our first night. Last night was our first night sleeping here, and um, uh, it was really hot during the day. Oh my God, it was so freaking hot in here. Um, but it's shaded right now, so it's really nice in the morning. And um, the light from a neighbor, there's a, a facility of some sort up here, and, and the um, light was shining in in the bedroom, and um, I couldn't figure out... <laughs> Get the, how to get the shades to close so was, you know trying not to wake Aaron up he had to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to do his work and he went out today he's out working and uh, yeah we'll just have to figure out how the rest of this stuff works but um, we're getting there it's pretty exciting um, I'll show you what happens when we finally have it put away it should be a big transformation from this I hope I figured out the, the mystery stuff over here. Couldn't figure out how to get hot water. And like, what is all this stuff? So in here, you turn the water pump on. This is an alpha gold. And then this mystery thing, turn the propane on. This is your hot water heater. I don't think the electric is working now that solar's hooked up, but this is that. And this is how you turn on your thermostat and turn on your hot, um, your heater up here. You can choose what it is that, you know, whatever setting you want to use here. Duh. Duh. We'll get it. We'll figure this out. Day five continued. So I'm trying to... I have my tea and I'm trying to get ready to leave because so, I got to finish the move. And I can't find... I can't find my toothbrush or my toothpaste. And it's here. I, I'm pretty sure it's here. Maybe it's in the car still. And okay, so some of these windows, like some of them, so, like this window over here, I can't open it. Can't open it at all. And then this window over here, I opened last night. You see it? I can't close it. So I'm trying to leave, but this window won't close. And then, and then this box, I had to put the box there because the sun is beating down on my beautiful chest I got off a of Craigslist and then uh, um, 
What else is not working? Oh, just lots of stuff. I, like I said, I made the tea and now you can see why I can't find anything. <laughs> so we apparently have a king size bed, by the way, and I thought it was queen size bed. So I bought a ma memory foam mattress topper and I got sheets and stuff and washed them and, and okay. So then I find out that it's a king size. So fortunately our old sheets kind of fit well enough. There's pillows freaking everywhere. Um, so I'm trying to get day five started, but it's getting, it's like 1030 already and I haven't even, <laughs> I haven't even been able to brush my teeth for God's sakes, but I'm going, I'm, I'm going to do this. If it, I mean, I have to find it. I have to brush my teeth. So I'm on it. I'm on the case. I've been here four hours cleaning, taking nails out of the wall, moving stuff around. Look, I have not, I haven't even finished the kitchen yet. Can you see that? And then there's food over here. There's food in the cabinets. Got most of the dishes out though, so that's good. There was just freaking stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Now, a lot of it's trash and um, recycle. Well, <laughs> some of it is, but um, never again. You know, if you're like us, typical American super consumers, been programmed to buy, 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 you need more stuff. Um, and we weren't even overflowing. Like I said, everything was in its place. I, I highly recommend that you do something about your stuff downsizing into a more appropriate um, abode is one way to do that then you see what you really need you know most of the stuff's just going away so I'm I've been here for hours but I have to get done tonight for real for realsies so next uh, another trip to the trailer and then Janeway and then we're gonna go or I'm gonna go to way down to this place where that's taking donations and oh, allergies, dust everywhere. And then um, another trip to storage. And then, then I have to do all the plants. And then I'm done. If we get done by midnight, I'll be so happy. I'll be so happy when this is over. <laughs> down to the wire. There's the entryway. Here's the uh, little side room. Closet space. 